Hello, I'm Ken Wheaton, and this is 3 Minute Ad Age, your daily video news show. The issue of the advertising industry's diversity hiring practices exploded anew yesterday. In a Manhattan press conference, the Madison Avenue Project issued a new study documenting racial disparity throughout the industry. Here's how the project's chief spokesman, Cyrus Mary, opened the proceedings. My name is Cyrus Mary at Mary and Scallet, and there are two areas that we're focusing on today. One is that the NAACP and my firm are joining forces to take on the advertising industry and end the long era of purposeful discrimination that has been taking place in this industry. Second, today there's going to be a release of a groundbreaking and I think truly blockbuster report by two prominent social scientists, Dr. Mark Bendick and uh, Dr. Mary Lou Egan. Why are we taking on that Madison Avenue? There are real two primary reasons. One, it's one of the most influential industries in American society. It shapes America's hearts and minds. It influences the way people think. And second, it's an industry that is the most entrenched of any industry that we're aware of when it comes to equal opportunity. Forty-five years after the passage of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, they are still a closed society. They're an industry that where favoritism rules the day and merit is cast aside. As you'll see in Dr. Bendick's report, African Americans have been underpaid by 20% compared to their white counterparts. And this is based on publicly available data. And, this, and that's after controlling for education and other factors. There's an astonishing 7,400 shortfall, 7,200 shortfall in terms of professional positions that African Americans should be having in this, in this industry based on available pools of talent, and yet they're not in those positions. So what this industry has done, not for years, but for decades, has robbed the African American community of equal opportunity, good positions, and most important, their dignity. And Nat King Cole said it correctly when he said that the advertising industry is afraid of the dark. Well, today, with the release of this report and with the release of, or the announcement of this project, they're going to be afraid of the sunshine we're going to bring to bear onto this industry. And that's it for this three-minute ad age. You can find copies of the study and additional coverage of this story on adage.com. I'm Ken Wheaton at Advertising Age in New York.